2v2 match, starting on Circuit Breakers. Here we go. This is the Altitude Nation Wars match. So, uh, yeah, go support them. Go check out AltitudeGaming.com. So if Kid Canada's no longer on the team, who do you send as ace for Canada? Uh, I guess the Sockway. For Canada. Or Dragon. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> I meant Dragon. I just like opened the player list and I saw the Sockway, so I just said his name. Dragon, I send Dragon. So it looks like it's going to be Dragon and Shuttle uh, for Canada. Oh, Dragon hey, the there's Shuttle. Yep, Dragon the oh. Brown Protoss, and Shuttle the Blue oh. Zerg, who got walkover because he didn't submit his replays. And for Central Europe will be Tupac, and uh, and Lockdog, aka the Sockways. Tupac's going to be a uh, Teal Protoss, and Lockdog's also going to be a uh, Protoss. It's going to be a uh, Protoss Protoss against Protoss Zerg teams. Alright, cool. So, uh, let me do the overlay. Oh, that's what I have to do. Uh oh. Colors. They're, they're speaking English. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that's unfortunate. That means we don't get to learn a new language this time. No, we should have asked them to speak French. They have French to know Canadian. French. They're like, lol. I'm pretty sure it's the law there, or something. What? I, I don't know much about from Canadian social customs, but I'm pretty sure the French are really, really picky about how everything needs to have French translations in either Canada or just the Quebec province. Uh, is this guy going to 12 hatch? He is. Shuttle's going to 12 hatch here. Meanwhile, all the Protosses have gone for two gates. I think 12 hatching is fine since the other team doesn't have a Zerg. Whoa, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, I I would generally agree with that too, not that I know. Yep. So guys, we've seen uh, Dragon and Lockdog already in 1v1s. Uh, Shuttle, we're not going to see. And Tupac is uh, actually also known as Tupacalypse. He is uh, a BGH player primarily, I think. Um, and quite good at it too. I think in terms of 1v1 IC Cup rank, he's something like B-. So, uh, yeah, definitely a decent player. Um, so that's that's all I know about the players. And... Not sure how they fare in 2v2, though. The Sockway and Dragon, I mean, they're 1v1ers. Uh, and, oh, look at this! We have a Gas Steel in Shuttle's base, which uh, is actually very good, because Zergs basically want to go for fast uh, link speed, and a lot of links. But it's going to be quite a bit delayed due to that Gas Steel, so... Um, that's actually... Uh, somewhat common tactic for Zergs who don't go for Nine Pole Gas. And even for Zergs who do, sometimes the Protoss will just send out a really early probe to deny that. So, looks like nothing too exciting just yet, except for the fact that there's a Zealot taking down a Shuttle's drones here. I believe that's Tupac's Zealot. Indeed it is. Uh, it will get taken down by these six links, though. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up a second. Why is Dragon Protoss? Uh, shouldn't because he, he's both. Be what? Yeah, but he shouldn't he be Zerg? But he's going against two Protoss players. Yes. So if he race picks ZVP. Oh, so you mean like he should go ZZ against, against PP? Two P's. Oh, oh, you mean? Well, I guess I don't think it applies in two v two though. Does that imply to? I don't know. I don't know. Apparently not. I think I think you thought it was better to have a Zerg Protoss team rather than two Zergs, even though two Zergs is stupidly good. But I don't know. Anyway. And it seems that the Zelts are moving down here. Where are they going for? Are they going for the Protoss or the Zerg? It looks like they're actually splitting up. I think it's a bad move. Usually, you want to keep your forces yeah. together. In a 2v2. Somehow purple has a lot more zealots than brown does. Indeed Not he does. Not sure how that happened. And then he has two more at home even. He's Works good at making on. zealots, man. Oh. Yeah, but dragon oh, has, has a ramp a advantage. He has a defensive advantage here. So it looks like uh, going to trade a zealot for a zealot. Meanwhile. Um, Tupac's gonna uh, duke it out with the Lings of Shuttle. 
And looks like Shuttle's going in for the surround. Nice Zealot Lyco from 2-pack. And... Wow. Gonna murder these links. I think he's probably gonna force a cancel on this uh, natural hatchery. Oh, no. Things are going forward. He's actually just right-click the hatchery. No, he decides to change. He changes his mind. <laughs> he decides to change his mind. Lol. Anyway, good range for a uh, 2-pack. And no tech just yet. Just 3 gate Zealot for... Uh... Desakwe, Lock Dog. Uh, he going me, no. purple going me. Nope. Uh, team Central Europe being very careful to not lose to DT, which is a very strong strategy in 2v2, surprisingly. Um, both making sure that they get their uh, early forges so that so they can build the cannons. It's all this stuff. Now they seem to be linking up and... Uh, Attacking the same, t attacking the same player. Yeah. There are a lot of Zerglings, but only one. Oh, there are two Sun Colonies. Yeah, I don't I'm think that's gonna work. Sure. Okay. <sighs> All right. So not that this game is boring or anything, <laughs> but it's like it's 5 a.m. for me. I'm just. It's not my fault. Anyway, we have an engagement here in the middle of the map. Uh, it seems that. Uh, what's his face? Dragon has got some goons out, so that's going to be quite nice. And they're actually going to take the battle quite convincingly. Going to chase down these uh, remaining zealots as well with the speedings and the goonies. Uh... Nice. These dragoons are going to be... Um, very effective because all of Protoss has one cannon, but the goons can range the zealots without being in range of the cannon, I think. Oh no, but he doesn't have vision. So, I was going to say he's going to be able to force Protoss into attacking with the zealots, for force purple into attacking with the zealots, but um, because he couldn't get vision, couldn't avoid the cannon. So, never mind. Um... So I'm dealing with some issues on Skype. I'm I'm getting a lot of I'm getting a lot of secret info on players and stuff. I don't know if I can talk, talk about it though. I'm finding out. Uh, I'm getting the down low. Oh, I am getting nothing. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I now know who Shuttle is, and you were correct. Shuttle is in fact LRM Sailboat Smurf. Nice. Yep. So, uh, he is in fact a notable player, he's not just some random guy. And looks like they're actually busting Tupac right now. Rot row! Rot row! Dude! Purple, come on! Who's purple again? The Sockway! The Sockway! Go! Go! The Sockway! Those elves are not gonna get there in time. Um, he's pretty much dead. B, B, B! B, B, B! I don't, does he realize he's like not playing? The console game, he's like spamming the B button, it's not doing anything. Alright, I'm game, getting bro. my secret info now. Boom. It's different than your secret info. Oh, nice, nice. See guys, that's what happens when you're a caster, you get you get the, you get the secret info, man, on the players. Uh, so it looks like Lings are just gonna attack a gateway rather than help out. Nope, now they're helping out. Uh, now we do have some mutas on the field. From, uh, from Shuttle, aka Sailboat. Dude, and... I'm still really happy about following that. Boom. I had no idea. <laughs> I was I was, I was Dude, that was guessing. such a random call. You totally don't get that. That that wasn't random. That was which one sounds most like Shuttle. Sailboat. Dude, oh. alright. Oh. GG! <laughs> and the Canadian team is going to take uh, the first game here in the 2v2. Alright. I'm gonna call that it's not it's not star sense, but it's like caster sense. Oh nice. Yeah. Smurf sense. Um <laughs> also gonna point out that uh shuttle messed up his tag. So I don't know if that disqualifies him. Wait, but he, he has a lower lowercase C A. No capital C A. Dude, I think it's fine. Him. Dude, did you see Folon's tag? <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Full <laughs> well, the best, man. Oh god. Anyway, 
Alright, we're gonna go again. <laughs> Wait a minute, dude. Dude, if you have like Smurf sense, we should use you to sniff out scan in tournaments. You're just like <laughs> you're like a you're like a scan detector. Dude, that's easy. <laughs>